Oh, I just washed my hair. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. I have not curled it. I have it straightened it. Ah, witchy woman. This is precious, just watching you do this. craze grave yes so we're hopping in the car and we are going to starbucks SP. i never get to do this i never get to hop in the car and go to starbucks uh, i never get to hop in the car with my sister right so we're like all jacked oh, up oh maybe we should drive downtown monroe <laughs> It's green. Anyway, so we're going to get Starbucks and then we're going back to my mom's and we're going to work on our knitting. And we're going to eat, eat meatball hookies. Yeah, you are. I've already eaten. Yeah. She's a smart one. She just ate meatballs. I'm eating meatballs with bread. Well, I have to do that because I know that there's cake coming to celebrate oh, Courtney's birthday. That's okay. And I, I knew I was wanting Starbucks, so. I chose to go do away with the bread. Plus, we're having pizza for dinner, and that's a lot of bread. Yeah, that's just a couple hours away. Yeah. 
Anyway, I might not be easy. Coffee, knitting. Coffee time. It's a good day. Hyper time. Yep. All checked. Yesterday love time. Yes, that's the best. Fuck. Blah. I love you more. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too. Remember when you used to podcast with everybody? Yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> you were little. Yeah. Now how old are you? Ten. Ten. Love you. <laughs> today back from Charlotte and back into the woods I go oh it feels good to be home I enjoyed my trip to Charlotte but there's nothing like walking in these mountains well I shouldn't say there's nothing like it because you know there's really nothing like the Grandies but it's nice to be out walking again and breathing the fresh mountain air it's so cold today it's a two hat day I had put on this hat eh, that I had made. This was uh, my friend Sophia Camaborn. It was her pattern last year, her advent pattern. So I stuck that hat on and then I got out here and I was like, oh, it's so cold. So I put the hoodie up and I don't even have real gloves. I just have fingerless mitts on and I have my snow pants on. No snow, but have my snow pants on. And I'm gonna turn this around because I also have on my Carnival in Venice socks by my dear friend Martushka Makes. Marta, I'm wearing them on my walk, thinking of you. So, yeah, I'm going to take a picture of them. I'm going to take a video of them so everybody can see them and everybody needs to rush out and get them. I got to stop videoing because a neighbor's coming by on his four wheeler and he, or his ATV and he's going to think I'm crazy talking to myself. There he goes. Okay, so yeah, I'm out, breathing the fresh mountain air, back home from Charlotte, and walking in my Carnival of Venice socks. episode 54 and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our yurt, our yom sweet yom, high up in the Great Smoky Mountains. I'm Joyce and this is our little yurty cast. It is all things yurty, all things crafty. This in my cuppa today is, I brought the bag because the bag is just as good as the coffee. It is, are you ready for this? 
Coffee by Knit Coffee Co. Delicious. And look at the bag it comes in. It's a knitter's blend. So that's what's in my cup of today. That, the Knitter's Blend coffee, and um, the creamer is glazed donut. Sounds wonderful. The Knit Coffee Co. you can find on Instagram or uh, knitcoffeeco.com, I think. Let me see here. I don't know. If you're not on Instagram, Google it. And I'm sure you'll find it. Knit.coffee. It's the Knit.coffee company. It's delicious. I actually won this, and you can hear it's get well, my coffee container is full, and so there's some more left in that. But another couple weeks, and I'm gonna need to order me some. How are you? So today's also the Witchy Woman podcast. I washed my hair earlier and I got busy sewing and I didn't blow dry it. And so I thought, well, I'll just straighten the ends a little bit so that it won't look so bad. But then I got distracted again and and I sat down here and realized I forgot to fix finish fixing my hair. So we just go with it. We'll just call it the Witchy Woman podcast and just keep going um, because I... If I keep stopping and starting, the day's going to be gone. And then rain is sweeping in the rest of the week, which means slow to upload. So I really want to get it recorded, edited, and at least uploaded tonight. So that by the time the rain moves in, I'm done worrying myself with it. How have you been? I have been so busy. I think the last time I finished, I was going to Charlotte to spend a week with... Um, my mom, my sisters, my grandies, my daughters, and celebrating some birthdays. And um, I don't know if I've already put the clips in at the beginning or if they're going to be in here. I don't know, but great week. Oh, such fun memories. And then ever since I've gotten back, I have been boom, 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 boom. We have, um, what have we done around here? It was still cold when we got back, so um, not much going on outside. Todd has worked. He's reinforcing sections of the, like, we, our three and a half acres are like mostly mountainside. And I want to um, put raised beds in and take some trees out so the sun can hit. And so he's been out there fiddling with that here and there. But, um, not much else we did. Um, okay, so when I was in Charlotte, this chair that I'm sitting in, my mom, let me back up. The chair that I'm sitting in, this rocking chair, my mom had um, her best friend in, um, one of her best friends in uh, West Virginia, showed her this, this rocking chair was in her attic and she asked my mom if she would want it. And my mom said, I don't, but I know who does. Cause she knows I, I love old things. And so my mom brought it back to Charlotte with her. This was probably last fall. And of course, when she showed it to me, I fell in love with it. So, but there was a rocker that needed fixed. So she had another friend back in, um, West Virginia, that he has woodworking shop and he could fix it. And she, so she called him and he said, oh yeah, bring it up. I'll fix it. So when we went home to West Virginia for Thanksgiving, we lugged the chair back to West Virginia and left it so that it could be fixed. And then another one of my mom's friends came down end of December and brought it all fixed, good as new. And then, so when I was then in Charlotte, we brought it back with us. So this, oh my goodness. And so it's, it's, um, old. I mean, it's scraped and scratched and worn. And my mom is such a, um, fanatic. I mean, everything has to be. So I always say my mom is glass and brass and I'm dust and rust. And I don't know how, I mean, you know, I'm the baby of the family. And so as you do with babies, you tease them. I was teased my whole life by my older sister, so they always said I was adopted. And so now that I'm older, I really begin to think maybe I was because I'm so opposite of my mom. I'm not 
and my sisters to a, to a degree, but, um, anyway, so yes, my mom is glass and brass and she wanted this all stained and polished. And I told her when I first saw it, cause I know my mom, I knew if I didn't lay down the guidelines, she would have it all refinished. And I did not want that. So I said over and over and over, I do not want it that stain. Mom, do not stain it. And so, and I, and when I took it back to West Virginia, I said, I do not want it stained. I don't want anything done to it. I want it in its original form. Thankfully, I got back. It, everything is the original form. But the whole week I was up there, I kept my mom. If she said it once, she said it 10, 15 times. That she thought it would be much better if I stained it. But I'm not going to. Um, I just feel like it could really tell. Uh, you know, why cover up the story is is my thoughts. I mean, I mean you know, I can imagine... Um, hands being rubbed here to where it's, you know, it's worn here. All right. Now, I'm so excited about the chair that I really just can't even tell the story. I just have to um, jump from portion to portion of it. But so my mom called her friend who gave it to her and said, could you tell me a little bit about the, the chair, where it came from, if you remember? Turns out her husband bought it at an estate sale years and years and years and years ago of my, it would be my, what would it be? It was my dad's aunt. It would be my great aunt. So it was my grandfather's sister. And I remember, you know, my dad talking about her a lot. So it turns out this is her chair. That is a freaky story to me. So I'm sure that she never in her wildest imagination, because to the best of my knowledge, she probably never left what they called the ridge. Um, and here her rocker is in uh, the Great Smoky Mountains in a yurt. And I sit in it and I rock and I knit and I read and I, and I, this is not where it usually sits. It usually sits boop, right there. So I guess where I got, I was talking about things we've done inside the yurt. My husband hung a, um, like, it's like a macrame light. It's a bulb that hangs down. And then there's this macrame shade that hangs around it. I will pop a picture in here of it. But he hung that last night. So that hangs right over my rocking chair so I can see to knit and read and all that stuff. Perfect view of the TV, which is right here. So my rocker sits here. Perfect view of the TV. It, you can feel the warmth of the, of the wood stove. <sighs> I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. I absolutely love it. When I got back, my husband took me, dropped me off and came back. And then when he came and picked me up again, when I got back to the yurt, he had this, um, uh, sheepskin that I have. I had this sheepskin. It was, it, so he took it and he drapes it over the back of the, the, um, recline, the rocker, which I love. And then this is a, um, prayer shawl that a dear, dear friend crocheted me years and years and years ago. And, um, so Julie, this is where I keep it. And it always, always reminds me of you and I love it. And um, when I need a hug, I just sit here and wrap myself up in it. Whew. I've been just going on and on and on, but all about this rocker. So I'm so, so, so excited. I cannot stand it. So this will probably be my podcasting chair and I'll probably be rocking and you'll pro oops, and kicking the camera and you'll probably wish that I would stop rocking. Um, so I'll try, try to be careful of that. Oh, whew. All of that. I have no knitwear on today. Yes, I do have knitwear on. I have socks. I have socks, but nothing else. Um, ugh. I have a ratty old denim shirt that I bought at a yard sale that Todd and I went to. But um, that's that's how I like to dress. Um, so I've just been working around the yurt this morning, sweeping and cleaning and uh, I did a little bit of knitting this morning and I worked a little bit. I started my daughter's quilt, so I'll show you that. And then I have a pillow that I'm going to make for this rocker. Um, I bought the form and then I just went through some fabric today, washed it and dried it this morning, and I'm going to cover it for this. And uh, that's it. I don't think anything else has been done around here. 
We have been looking for some screen doors because I need some screen doors here. Um, and I think I found one that I like at Lowe's. I've really been searching for um, like antique shops and yard sales. And that's what I want. I want one that's really different and unique, but I'm having a hard time finding it to where, like if I'd find one I really liked, it would be metal and then it wouldn't fit the door frame. And so you couldn't cut it down to size. So I really had to go with wood. And I just haven't found one that, wooden one that really speaks to me. So I'm gonna get this one at Lowe's and I'm gonna paint it. And I'm just gonna get one. And then I'm gonna keep holding out hope that the front door I'll be able to find uh, the right kind of screen for that. But anyway. So your stuff, that's it. I know that you guys like to see more of Todd and I actually told him to record while I was away. Oh, I will, I will, I will. He didn't. So, I mean, I can't help you out there. I keep telling him he needs to record like, um, he's gonna tell our water story and hopefully that will be in the next um, episode or our next yurt cast. I will make an appointment. I'm going to commit to you now that I'm going to make him tell you our water story, our water source, how we, um, how we have running water. That will be interesting because we do not have a well. Uh, it is, they have to go down so far, like 900 feet or my, our neighbors were 900 feet. So we're assuming that's what it be. And that is so expensive. So that's just on hold for a while. Um, but we do have a pretty, pretty good water source and we never have an issue with running out of water. We always have, we have, um, like, a oh, what are they called? A tankless system. So we have hot water, we have cold water, obviously. Um, so that will be next. That'll be the next York cast. So I look forward to that because I was trying to think what could he possibly do? And I think our water source will be very interesting for you. So that he will be in the next episode. I will make sure of it. If I have to go with him and video everything myself, I will do that. But that's it. Nothing new around here. Um, I'm trying to think if I've made anything. I'm going to make, and I'm, I might do it today or I might do it tomorrow. I've got this recipe for, um, oh, I'd pull the book, but I'll have to show you that in the next um, episode too. But it's for, for face cream and body lotion. And so I'm going to make that and um, I'm excited about that. But so things like that, I've not made anything else other than the candles that I'm, that I showed a couple um podcasts ago. And, um, but I have made some things for my um, Etsy shop, my icy flowers. Okay. So a friend, an Instagram friend who we've been friends for quite a while. She um, is a big thrifter. And so she had seen some of the things that I made for my I See Flowers uh, by RMC. That's in my Etsy shop. And um, so she had seen some things that I had made. And she said, I, and she, I told you, she's a big thrifter. She said, I have this quilt. If I send it to you, will you make me a bag? And then you can use the rest of the quilt for whatever you want. And I said, sure, I'll do that. Okay, so she packs up the the yurt she packs up the quilt sends it to me and I have to be honest when I opened it it did not speak to me I was just like oh I wish I had seen this before I committed to it and so I had to really it took she was so patient and so kind and because like I got the quilt in November and I just now in February got I shipped off her blank her bag but as you know the the quilts, the blankets, whatever I'm using has to speak to me. It almost has to tell me what it wants to be. And it was the case with her bag. I just could not. I knew she wanted big. She wanted to throw th her, her thrifting stuff in as she thrifted. And so it just really took me a while to wrap my mind around it and get in the groove. I got that done. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with the rest of this quilt? I cannot. It wasn't speaking to me. And then I got the idea. It just like, boom. I made some pillows. Okay, so 
here is they're lavender pillows. So they're stuffed with lab, they're stuffed with filling, um, but lavender. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Lavender as well. Okay, so this is the quilt. So the quilt was in very fragile condition, very, very fragile condition. And so there were a lot of tears. Now, as you know, I am very wabi-sabi. I am perfectly imperfect. Uh, I let the imperfections of the pro of the blanket or the afghan that is part of its charm. So, if that is not your thing, if you're glass and brass, and this just would not be your thing, my feelings are not hurt. But if you're dust and rust like me, and you like vintage, and you like character and um, unique, you're gonna like these. So this is the front and then there's the back. Okay, so what I did, I tried to have one good side where there's no um, tears in the fabric. And then on the other side, there may be, like, I don't know if you can see right here, this has, uh, this fabric is worn. But like I say, that doesn't bother me. I love it. It just tells a story. So I was able to make some pillows out of the rest of her quilt. And I am in love. It has the, the rough edge to it. Um, I can't remember what that's called. I'm not a sewist. But yes, these are, um, they're in my Etsy shop. They're going in my Etsy shop. I'm not sure. They're not in there yet as I record. Hopefully by the time you watch this, they will be in there. But my Etsy link will be in the show notes. Um, and it's I See Flowers by RMC. So that I have been busy making. One other thing I want to tell you about that I just started is, and it's in, in the show notes. And when I say show notes, there's below the the video that you're watching, there's going to be a little arrow that points down. And you click that and it drop, drops, it will drop the show notes down for you. And it talks, I have typed in everything that I'm talking about here. So if you want to know, for instance, my Etsy shop, I'll put the link there. There's also a link that I, this is brand new to me. It is buy me a coffee. So if you want to buy me a coffee, just click on that link and you can send me money to go buy a coffee or to go buy a skein of yarn or um, I'm starting it for several reasons because, well, number one, this is a lot of work. Setting up, recording, just documenting your life is a lot of work. And I was going to do a Patreon page. I have that all set up and we still may go that route, but I thought I would try this first. Um, I think it would be easier for me if I did that versus try to keep two, like a Patreon page and my YouTube going at the same time. So like, it's just a little, it just lets me know that what I'm doing is appreciated and you do enjoy it. And, um, you know, I want to give more prizes away on here. And so I just can't afford to go do that. This will help me be able to buy little things here and there that I can pass on to you all. Um, it'll help buy me a coffee. It'll just help sustain my lifestyle here just a little better. I'm just trying to monetize my time here to be productive as much as I can. Um, so yeah, there's a link that says buy me a coffee. You'll click on there. It should take you right there and voila. I would appreciate that if you just check that out and I thank you in advance for your love and for um, helping me, you know, like there's, I'd like to have better cameras. I would like to, we'd like to get a drone so we could take video. So there's so much that we're limited to. And so I thought, well, if I could monetize my podcast, my, my Yurtcast, my YouTube channel, just a little bit, it would help me offset some of the cost of some of the things that I want to do with this channel. So just wanted to get that. My Etsy shop is on there. And then, and there's other things in my Etsy shop besides the pillows. Um, there's, I think there's a few bags in there that I've made. Um, there's some tassels that I've made. I'm not sure if there's any more coasters. I may be sold out of those. I'm not sure. Whatever I have, everything that I have is in there and the wheels are turning. So I'm going to be, um, making new, more things here recently. I've got some more ideas for some bags. And so, yeah, if you'll check out my, uh, my Etsy shop and then my buy me a coffee and, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. <clears throat> oh, okay. 
Let me show you something that was sent to me. <gasps> okay, so this girl, she knows that uh, I like mushrooms. You all know I like mushrooms. So a friend of mine on Instagram, her name is Crystal. She makes these out of wood. And I saw them, oh my gosh, as soon as I saw them, I, I just loved them. I said, can I buy one of those? Because I didn't, I didn't know if she sold them. And she said, well, I will make you one. She was waiting for the, the wood to dry at the time. And I can't remember the name. I have to put them. I have to put the name down below. But anyway, look at this little mushroom. It's wood, and she sent this mini, this mini, this mini skein. You wine. This is just big enough for minis. She says it's just big enough for minis. I would bet I could wind a ball of yarn on here because you you can use your thumb to wind uh, a skein of yarn. So I bet I could. But. Look at that mushroom. And she sent this beautiful yarn and a, there was a the little, one of these little dolls, which Crystal, you don't know that I collect these. I have little wooden, the stackable ones, the little dolls, the, uh, the Russian dolls. I can't think of the name of it. But so yeah, I've been wanting to wind this up, but I wanted to wait till I could show you every, how, what all she sent. Thank you so much, Crystal. This is just Oh, so special to me to think you hand carved that. Wow, that is pure talent. She sent this little mushroom bag, and then she sent a little, um, a little, little verse that says, "Finding mushrooms amongst the branches of trees, they are craved out. I think that means they are craved out, letting their shapes be known. Carved, keeping the knots and curves that from the trees that grew them." So all the little knots in them. Oh, that is so special. Thank you so much, Crystal. I will definitely use that quite a lot. Because I don't like winding minis. I don't like, I don't, so that's going to be make, that'll make a fun to do. So that was exciting. Now, what am I working on? Okay, first I want to show you what's out of my bags. I think I was working on these last time the Carnival uh, Carnival in Venice socks by my friend Marta of Martushka Makes in London. Oh my goodness, I love these socks. They are finished. I don't have my sock blockers over here, but look at these beauties. Are they not exciting? These are my Carnival in Venice socks and I wear them all the time. Like, I, I recycle, like, like I've, I've got quite a bit of handmade socks. So when I wash them up and I put them back in, I always try to pull something different so I don't keep wearing the same socks all the time just to save on the wear and tear. But I have to admit, these things are so comfortable. They have been on my feet. Like they get washed, dried, and back on my feet. I love these. Kudos to you, Marta. These are amazing. I'm going to knit more. Um, and I think she's coming up with more patterns. So, but this one is so easy. Even if you're new to color work, this is easy peasy. There was absolutely nothing that I thought would be difficult. Now, I will say this. I, when my next pair, I will not use speckled yarns. I will not use a variegated yarns. I will not use marled yarns. It'll all be solid colors because I feel like the solids, now like, in the striping, you can tell this uh, purple is a variegated. That's okay. And right here, this color work does not show up that well because of the yarn choices that I made. So, um, I would my advice would just be use solid colors, and I think you will be happy with how everything shows up. Because see, I just feel like that color work is lost. Shows up a little better there, but. Yes, I love them. They're so, so comfortable. They're the perfect yurt socks. So that is out of my bags. And that's the only thing out of my bags. I have nothing else, but I've been working on things. I have in my bags, I'm working on um, in this uh, plyster knitwear. And I, the only thing, I did throw this on my, my quilter machine the other day and put some stitches on there. Um, <clears throat> but... So I'm hosting this A Year of Stone Knits Cow. And is it, yeah, it's a cow. Um, 
So anything stone knits that you want to work on by Charlotte Stone, um, as long as it's, I don't even care if you started it last year and you want to finish it this year, I don't care. As long as it's finished in 2022, use that hashtag on Instagram and I'll be pulling pri prizes from there. Charlotte has a book coming out this year and I want to, um, I'm going to gift, a, I'm going to buy one of those and gift, give that as a gift. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. So my first pair was the Matterhorn socks that I showed on my last, um, your cast. These are the Good Friends socks. And I have sock number one finished and this much of sock number two. Okay. Remember me telling you whenever I knit color work socks, like I would knit a little bit and then I pick up this sock and knit a little bit. That is true. That is still true. I did the same thing with Marta's socks. However, with this pattern, it is such an easy pattern that I didn't feel like, oh, I better stop and catch up because I'm not going to want to do this again. I love it so much. It's so repetitive. It's so, so easy. If you are new to color work, this would be a great one to start with. And I loved the heel. Oh my goodness. I've not done this heel before. I don't, I don't even know what she called it, but I love it. You work it in as you go, there's no picking up the gusset and oh my lands, I loved it. So that's a good thing about sock knitting. There are so many different, pat there's just so many different recipes and patterns to do heels, toes, and mainly heels. I mean, there are a few toes, but heels, golly, nets, there's so many different heel types. So that's what's in my bags. You can see the hearts on there. See those hearts. And again, I'm, I'm just working from stash yarn and I had a hard time because like this brown is, you know, it's a variegated. So my chocolate hearts really in some areas just don't really show up like hearts that much. And in this row of hearts here, they almost look more like a cat because I made a mistake and made uh, two rows, I uh, repeated a row that I shouldn't have. So when I do this sock, I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to repeat the one row so that they look the same. But I am so in love with these. Another great pattern, Charlotte. So these are my February socks. I, I'm going to get them done this week so I can say that I can be up to date on, um, my socks. I, I use stash. I don't remember what this is, but this is Swamp Bunny Fibers and it's their dock side. I, you know what? I don't even know if they still dye yarn. I have not seen them posting about it for a while, but this kind of made me think of chocolate covered strawberries. So, um, with the pink and the chocolate. So that's in my bags. Now, I have been working on, okay, remember my um, blanket that I've got? I will show you. I've done, well, this week I've worked on these two squares, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've finished seven and, and I've seamed those together. So they are laying across the back of my sofa and I'm going to see, I'm going to just try and, do, 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 do. can you see it? Right, whoo, sorry about that. Can you see it right there laying across the back of my sofa? That is what I'm working on. That mess right back there, that is my nook. That's my little crofty nook, my little slice of the pie. It's where I do all my sewing and that's where my yarn is stashed. That's the, right there is a fabric you can see stacked there. This is my, uh, like a coat tree full of all of my bags. This right here is my easel that I'm, where I paint. It's just, wow, it's kind of messy back there. So, but yeah, right there, you can see a little bit of my blanket. That's what I'm doing here. I am, so I've got these two squares. Um, I've got this color of purple on my needles now. It's moving right along. I can pop these things out rather quickly. So I'm glad I have this kind of project on hand where it's just so easy 
to work and do, and I think it's gonna be so cozy. Um, I'm using worsted weights, so they're, you know, they're rather dense. Some of my, uh, like this one was, I think, DK, and so I just doubled it, and so it's really dense. Um, so there's gonna be some, some that are a little more dense than others, but uh, I'm so excited about it. I think it's gonna be fun. So far, so I've got seven there, eight, nine, 10. I've not repeated colors, but I think I'm to the point now where I'm gonna have to start repeating colors, because these are just, I'm just using acrylic yarns that are in my stash. And so I think I'm about to the end of um, different colors. I have a lot of DK um, Stylecraft yarn, DK weight, but I don't know. I have to double that, and I don't know if I want to do that. So we'll see. But right now I'm happy with how the color are the colors are playing together. And there's that. One other thing that's in my knitting, and it is. Um, and it's in this bag by Monique, a strawberry, a strawberry fields, a blueberry fields. Um, remember me telling you about the Richmond Hill pullover that me and my friend St. Louis are doing as our birthday, um, birthday sweaters. This is how far I am. So, I mean, I'm getting there. Yeah, the sleeves will be color work. And so this underarm has to be 13 inches and then you do four inches of ribbing. So it's still gonna take me a while, but I have been working on it lately and I am really enjoying it. It's mindless, you know, on uh, Netflix, I've been watching Sweet Magnolias. That's a cute, cute um, series if you haven't watched that. And then my husband and I are watching Quantico. So. They, this is great um, Netflix watching knitting because it's just round and 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 round. So that's all the knitting that I'm working on. Not, you know I have other projects, but not much um, is, else is being worked on. And, you know, when I went to Charlotte, I took um, the um, crochet blanket I'm doing for, with for my sister and then um, these other projects. So... I, but there wasn't a lot of knitting that went happened there. It was more or less uh, playing with the grandies. All right. So, remember me saying that I was um, going to make my daughter a quilt. She's getting married in May. And so, I'm going to make her this quilt right here. And I got started. I'm so in love with this. This, let me see. This is the top. So this is how much I've gotten done so far. Woo. Oh my gosh, if I had set that on fire from those candles, I would have been so sad. But this is where I am. It's like a log cabin. So you're going down through here, then I went across here, then I go up here, and then I'll go across here. And then I'll do another uh, small, a uh, two inch border. But I am so happy. I'm not really sure, they're not. These are not the colors I showed you that I was going to do. I pulled this one out and I pulled this one out of my stash. This one was in the original colors that I showed you. But that is going to be her quilt for her wedding. And I'm going to do some hand embroidery on here. Um, I think I'm going to put her name, her husband's name, and her two daughters' names and um, the date and... Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to embroider their names on here somehow. And uh, so, I'm sorry. I just can't quit looking at it. I love it. It's nice to love something that you do because I laid out these fabrics. I don't cannot tell you how many times I lay out fabric and, okay, I like these, but I don't like these. And so, when I finally settled on ones I liked, I'm like, whoo. Ooh, okay, now it's nice. It's nice to look at it and it's pleasing to my eyes. Might not be so pleasing to your eye if you're not a colorful person, but it is to mine. And I love it. I like, I have to love what I give. I can't give something I don't love. It just doesn't work for me. So 
And that is all that I've been working on. I have got show notes here, so let me make sure that I am not leaving anything out. Nope. That's it. That's a really short episode. I thought with all the footage that I took in Charlotte that this was going to be a really long episode. I thought, oh my gosh, that episode is going to be like an hour and some. But it's not. I mean, I've only been recording like almost 40 minutes, 38 minutes, 39 minutes. By the time I edit half of that out. I don't have anything else going on. I, we're, I don't think there's any trips coming up. No snow in the forecast. Actually, next Sunday, there, there's, a, there's a chance, but I'm not holding my breath. I really want snow. I want, um, I want winter to go on for a little while, but I don't think it's going to. I think it's done. Cold. It's been cold. It's going to warm up this week. We have a lot of rain coming, which means I've got to get out there and get some wood covered up. And try to make some more little bundles. I made um, I made some, I've been cleaning up my gardens. And so I take the dried flowers and the dried herbs and I make them into little bundles and bring them in so that we have those as our fire starters. And so I think I'm going to go out there and clean up another bed today so that I can... Um, make some more fire starters because I think I used the last one this morning. So I had to do that. I had to walk. But then I think I'm coming back in here and I'm going to start on that quilt and work some more on that because I love that. I don't like cutting fabric, but I like putting it together. I like choosing the fabrics and I like sewing it together. Just that little hiccup when you have to cut them. And I'm actually just cutting them as I go. I'm just, each little log I cut. I figured it would keep me from making mistakes if I did it that way. Okay, I know I'm going to forget something. I just feel like this went way too fast. I don't see anything though. I don't see anything. And so, just remember the show notes. Remember you can buy me a coffee if you want to. You can go to my uh, Etsy shop and see if there's anything in there that you like. Um, I don't make mass, I don't mass produce anything because I just do it as the blanket speaks to me. So, um, if you see something and you want it, you might want to get it uh, because it might not be there when you go back. Um, I do have, I think I'm popping four or five pillows in the shop. Um, and then I think I'm going to work on a bag, but I'm not going to start that till probably tomorrow. Yeah. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for checking me out. If you're new, thank you, welcome. And you can follow me on Instagram at Ruby Moss Cottage. And um, like, subscribe, and we will see each other again in a few weeks. And until then, remember that in all you do, take it one stitch at a time.